Okay, so it is hot. We are sweaty, but just wanted to show you guys what I'm doing on Friday. That's why the video is a little different today. I'm gonna show you my setup for a musical I'm doing. It's called You, Me, I, We. It's really cool. My friend Lena arranged and orchestrated. I have a lot of good friends on here. This is my buddy Ty. Ty, say hi to my YouTube channel. Hi, YouTube channel. It's Jeff. I'm your Jeff. Jeff's the man. Phenomenal dancer doing some great work here. Just want to uh, show you the setup. It's kind of like a folky show. Sure. The iPad. If you are a gigging musician that reads music, I highly recommend you get this because it gives you four score. It is one of the greatest things in the history of the world. I have my whole score on here. I get to write with my finger, really bad handwriting there. I got my Fractal Audio AX8 giving me all my electric sounds, which is coming from my beautiful Sir Telecaster. Yamaha acoustic guitar and in my monitor here. Just using that to get sound. We're not mic'd up or anything, but uh, it's a good setup. All right, everybody. Well, I just got back from the You, Me, I, We uh, musical rehearsal in Manhattan, uh, right in Midtown on 46th, and it was awesome. Love getting to play with my good friends. Uh, one of the things I think is so awesome about being in like the musical scene in, in New York City is that it's kind of like a really small group of people. Like it's not it's not small, but like everybody kind of knows each other. Do you know what I mean? So it's like you hang out with somebody, you might meet them for the first time, and it's like you send somebody a Facebook request, and you have like fifty mutual friends that are all other like musical uh, guys, and it's it's really cool. Uh, so yeah, very excited to be playing uh in this band. This band is a band that I've played. This rhythm section is a rhythm section I've worked with before, and they are fantastic. Ty, Lena, Derek, and uh, Stefan is the new buddy I made on this journey. He's a fantastic violinist, but all of them are monster musicians in their own right. It's very awesome to be there. All my students always ask me about what it's like to be a pit guy, so I figured I might as well just share with you guys like things you might want to be able to do or, or know. Um, obviously, if you're a guitar player and you want to start playing in pits, a must, like I'm talking a must, is that you, you kind of want to you kind of want to know how to read music. You, you definitely, like, I, I mean, I guess you could kind of fake your way through it if you were really creative. <laughs> but, man, it would probably be a nightmare if you didn't know what the ink was asking you to do. So you definitely might want to start working on reading chops if you don't already have them and you're interested in becoming a pick guitar player. Another thing that I think is kind of really important is is gear. You know, I think you need to have you need to have gear, some gear. A lot of the pit stuff, uh, especially the guitar books, ask for a lot of things a lot of times. Like so, the show that I'm doing now that you just saw the setup earlier, it's kind of a folky show, so it's really acoustic driven, um, but there is electric as well. And like other guitar books have. You know electric guitar maybe even multiple electric guitars with different tunings and then you have effects like distortion or modulation effects or time-based effects and then you even have you know steel string acoustic guitars and nylon string acoustic guitars so like classical guitars you have mandolins a double for a guitar book banjos a double for the guitar book ukuleles a double for the guitar book uh, I mean, even in the 9 to 5 show that I did uh, and posted the video on YouTube, I was playing slide guitar. So the point of the story is, I think having some gear is good. If you were a drummer and you didn't have a drum set, you can't show up to a gig expecting that there's going to be a drum set for you all the time. Another thing that I think is, is, is a must is never, never doubt the power of a pencil, <laughs> especially when you're working in musicals. Um, if you're working off the paper, you're taking a lot of notes. Uh, sometimes I don't know if you guys know this or not. If you're if you're not a, a musical person, but sometimes, and by sometimes I mean all the time, you're always making notes. The 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 show is altered from what is written, so you're always like, oh, maybe that measure gets cut out, or maybe you have to add something new, or you know, play that out more. You always want to write little notes to yourself. So a pencil is definitely mightier than the sword in musical pits. I also think having an open mind and a very uh, positive way about you is a really good thing. Like, for example, if you play something that's written, a music director could say, even though you play it right, they could just not like it. You know what I mean? They could be like, eh, I don't really think that fits the vibe of the show. Let's try something else. You know, don't take it like, you know, you are not. It's like, well, it's nothing personal. You know what I mean? You're just making music, man. You're having fun, trying to tell a story. It's, it's a great thing. It's a great thing. 
it is definitely uh, it is definitely a different kind of gig if you are used to playing bar gigs or, or cover gigs, um, maybe even wedding band stuff, or especially original music, doing doing things like this. And uh, especially, it's definitely more cool when you do an original show like You, Me, I, We uh, is because everything is, is new. There is no reference material. Like, you get to, like, kind of, like, you know, everything that's going to be on this guitar part, you know, my, my, my friend Lena wrote out for me, but I'm kind of, like, giving it life. And I always like that because, you know, if, I, if I'm learning a show that already exists that's, like, guitar-heavy, like Rock of Ages... There are so many source materials for all those tunes, whether you're listening to the Rock of Ages like soundtrack or the actual <laughs> songs that they're using. Um, you know, so you, you kind of play like the track has already been recorded. But when it's when it's fresh, it's it's really it's a really nice outlet for your creativity. Yeah, I mean I, I could totally do a whole vlog about speaking about like more into detail about pit stuff and what like you know maybe five things uh, any guitar player pit guitar player need or any pit player would need for for a gig or, or things like that let me know uh, any any ideas you guys have in the comment section below but uh, I don't know even know if you guys know this or not I said it like once or twice before but I'll say it again I also have other social media um, not only am I here on YouTube I am also on Instagram Facebook and Twitter all under John J. Barry and I will post those links in the description. Yeah, I would totally appreciate it if you guys followed and liked all that good stuff. And I'll like and follow you back. I have a lot of friends uh, on the internet that are into not only music, that are into fitness and sports and, and, and writing and, and drawing and they you guys all do so many incredible amazing things and I just love seeing it. I just love the, the, there there's some ugly in this world man but when, when you Look at the beauty of it, about how everybody has their things that they love and and they're passionate about. And when, when they share them with people, it's just an awesome thing to see, man. It's, it's, it's really, it's great. So I know the this is kind of a cop-out video. I'm very busy, but I hope to make it up to you guys on Monday because Monday I'm doing something really exciting. I'm going to do a mega guitar shred jam video. I sent a backing track to like 10 guitar friends that I thought would do it by by the weekend. Uh, I'm getting a lot of them sent back to me now and we are planning to upload that for October 15th. That is Monday. Planning to upload it Monday. That will be the next video on my channel and it should be awesome. I'm looking so forward to it. I know I went in ham. It's just total wank fest and uh, I, I, I've been hearing some of them that they've been sending back to me, and it is awesome. Uh, my, my friend Russ Jones, um, who's going to be one of the guys you hear on that video, posted on his Instagram. He, like, literally, like, ripped his fingers open because he was, like, playing so crazy. It's awesome. So have a look out for that. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support that you've been showing me. I greatly appreciate it, and I will see you all on Monday.